Hi guys, so today on stream I did a lot of paint testing with uh, clear varnishes mixed with mica pigments and also some chameleon automotive paint pigments uh, mixed with my usual top coat varnish that I use on all of my armor which is the Verithane polyurethane indoor quick dry in a gloss. Um, it's what I use on all of my armor from my very first chromey to master chromey. Um, I've always used it. It's a brush on polyurethane so it's really easy to mix. Uh, so Star Queen Li Ming has a color shifting uh, aspect to a lot of her pieces. Uh, her skirt has a color shift which I had posted a video earlier today of um, the fabric I got. This small piece doesn't show the color shift quite so well, um, but overall it's a really pretty pink to or purple to blue uh, color shifting uh, taffeta type fabric. And her shoulder armor and a little bit of her waist armor uh, has a, a similar matching colored color shift to it. Uh, I wanted to try to match that, but maybe also add a little bit of the of a turquoise shift in there as well. So I used black and a couple different base colors, um, a matte purple, a metallic purple, a turquoise matte, and a blue matte, uh, just acrylic paint, and I mixed all different ratios of mica pigments and the, uh, it's called Riddler, uh, it's a pigment used to make cars chameleon cars, so that it's like an automotive paint pigment. Um, so I've tried them all over different, the different background colors. Um, the ones that I liked the most and that I felt were the closest to my color changey fabric here were this one here, which is a la uh, lavender, and then mixed with, I think it's Oh no, that one's just the straight lavender pigment, which on its own has kind of a blue shift to it. I'm trying to catch the light here so you can see the different color. Um, it's also done here on the purple. And depending on the angle that I hold it at, it shifts different colors. Um, but it's very much purple. Uh, it doesn't shift a whole lot towards blue. It doesn't shift a whole lot tur towards turquoise. Uh, another option I liked was this one here. Um, it's pretty close. It has a little bit more blue in it. I think, what one was that? I added, okay, so I'm wrong. This first one is lavender mixed with the blue pigment mixed with a little bit of pink pigment, which is this one and this one. Uh, number two, which is here, is the straight lavender. So it is a little bit more blue. The The pink definitely added a more purpley look to this one here. This has the pink added. Um, and then this one is the last option that I really liked. Uh, it's here and also here. And that is the same ratio, it's the lavender, pink, and blue mica pigments, but also has the Riddler automotive pigment mixed in in a very small quantity, so the color changing on that one is a bit more drastic. Uh, I really like that one. It does add a little bit of the turquoise when it hits certain light, um, like maybe there-ish. It's hard for me to see on my phone here. There, I think I flashed kind of turquoisey, but it's, uh, again, it's the, oh, I can't see what I'm doing. This one here, um, in the middle, this long strip, and that's it over the purple, but I think that might be the way I want to go with it. Um, it's pretty close to my fabric here at certain angles. Uh, you definitely get the purple at certain angles, but then it does flash turquoise, which the fabric doesn't do so much. The fabric does flash blue at certain points. 
it's not as dramatic as the paint but it does match they are matching at certain angles so i think that is what is the most important i think the color flashing to turquoise adds interest and it's something that i really would like to add to this paint job um it's something that really drew me to this costume is the color changing pigments that I'd get to use so I'm really happy with this one I might stick with the straight purple or one of the other ones I have to do a little bit more thinking on which one I like the most to go with this fabric uh, I don't want to stray too far from the fabric color but that's that's the direction we're going as far as paint but as you can see these all like all these color shifting mica pigments and the automotive pigment are really really cool if you have a costume that you can utilize this type of stuff on um, these are pearl x mica pigments uh, and then the other one i forget the brand of the automotive pigment but it is called riddler i got it on amazon you can get a five gram sample of it for around ten dollars um, and five grams would go a long way once you mix it with a clear polyurethane or something that you're going to use to make it paintable but they're all really really cool it was really fun to play with the different color changing pigments and layering them over colors and stuff so we will have to make a decision at some point exactly which one i want to use for this costume but i am leaning towards one of the ones down here this corner they're close um, the one on the left not the gold one obviously but the one on the left matches has a bit of a turquoise flash that's really cool um, so I might go that way but I wanted to take a video to show you guys who are watching on stream especially because I know it was hard for me to see my camera kind of pulls purple tones out a lot so you don't get to see um, how purple some of the colors were they looked more blue on cam but they definitely are purple that kind of flash to different shades of turquoise and blue so really really fun project um i'm really excited to see how these look on armor uh, but i'll let you guys know what my decision is when i finally make it so i'll probably stream again tomorrow uh look out for that and i will talk to you there bye